It's now time to review the only player that matters in Fantasy Foot Team 2. It is, of course, 90 rated Martinelli, who hopefully is going to get all of the boosts that these cards can get. Instantly, I've got to tell you, big positive on this card. He's been boosted from 3 star, 3 star to 4 star, 4 star, which is obviously fantastic for a winger. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your ultimate. Order. So let's have a look at this item, shall we? Finesse shot trait and outside the foot shot trait, really, really nice. Two of the best traits to have in the game this year. And in regards to in-game stats, there is some really, really nice attributes straight off the bat. Obviously, the pace column is almost perfect, so that is obviously great to see for a winger. Shooting, for the most part, looks decent. Good finishing rating and attack positioning rating, both of 94. Shame the long shots are a little bit better, but with time finesses being as they are in FIFA, hopefully won't be too much of a problem from distance. Um, his passing like column looks a bit strange. But he does have some good stats in the crossing and short passing areas. So that's obviously really, really nice. Shame the long passing stat is so low though. So we'll have to be a bit careful with through balls from him. Dribbling department though is stacked for most part. 96 agility is great. 19 game dribbling is class. And uh, yeah. It's good, it's good. It's not, you know, elite, but it's still looking really, really nice. Composure of 84, though, shame that's not a little bit higher. Finally, physically, how is he looking? For a winger, pretty good. Obviously, nice stamina is good for a pacey player, and the strength and aggression combo should hold up rather nicely in-game. Now, for a chem style, since his pace is already maxed out, we really don't need anything too pace heavy. So I'm thinking we go with Maxman, and um, that obviously solves the shooting issues that I highlighted a few moments ago. It makes his physicals look insane for an attacker, and it also fixes some of his dribbling where the stats aren't too high as well. So I do think Maxman is the best chem style for him. I can understand why some people would go for Deadeye just because they've looked at the card. But overall, I do think Maxman is by far the best option for him. He goes from 90 dribbling to 98. That's... That's pretty mad. All right, for his debut, he is going to get a good test because he's up against Team Leader Diaz, Flashback Varane, and um, I forgot who the right back was. But it looks like a good card. Martinelli takes on one. Gets round another. Let's hit the finesse. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have. I should have passed it there, but I just got a bit carried away because of the player review. Here's a chance. Options in the box are a bit limited, so we'll skip inside. We'll take off the shot. Oh, Gabby, you got the pace. You got the pace. See you later, Fafana. You ain't catching. I see Origi in the box. The ball isn't bad and unfortunately doesn't bounce for us. Not a terrible ball, but dealt with relatively easily from the opposition. We're going to change things up for the second 45. I want to get Martinelli into some more advanced roles. So we're going to switch to the 4-3-2-1 and we'll see how we get on with that. Chance from the corner. Ball's whipped in. Martinelli with the header, but that one's going to drift wide. Go on, Gabby. Straight through that gap. You've got the pace. It's a great run. It's a great strike, and that is 2-2. Love to see that from the Brazilian. From distance. Oh, Martinelli and Lucky. Hits the post, hits the back of the keeper, and sadly doesn't bounce for us. And there's full time. Frustrating one to lose. It was 3-2, but we had to go on constant pressure to try and get that equalizer. Didn't come, so we ended up with the 4-2 loss. But, um, yeah, let's move on swiftly into the next game. Next outing sees us up against this. Everyone has flashback Varane. Just Everyone at this point. Interesting choice to have that Jose starting goal. Haven't come up against it yet. Guess I'll find out how it is now. Nice tackle there from the Brazilian. And now he has a chance to break down his edge with Carlos Alberto out of position. Left footed cross. Oh, I have to say that did not go where I wanted it. Nice. Chance. He's tried to move his keeper, but that's not going to stop the finesse from Martinelli from hitting the back of the net. From distance. Oh, good save. Nice. Gets past one. Finds Joe Cole, who strikes and scores. Good assist to set him up. Nice. Good play. Puts Martinelli into a bunch of space. We do have options as well. Can we find uh, Joe Cole at the back stick? Yes, we can. I almost said Cruyff there, but Cole does really, really nice to finish that. Chance on the volley. Oh, good save from Jose Sa. We appear to have acquired a penalty, and there's only one man that can step up and take it, and that is the Brazilian who's going to dink it down the middle, and he's going to make it four right before the break. There's a chance to break from the corner. Ball's in behind. Martinelli up against Nkunku, sadly gets flawed. That's a shame. Yes, love that. 
Love that. Oh, it would have been a beautiful goal, but once again, he's hit the woodwork. Oh, what a goal. I wasn't expecting that to go in. <laughs> I just thought that was going to sail wide. How was that hit the back of the net? And there is full time. Very nice game, that. 6-3 victory in the end. Decent opposition too. All right then, let's talk about the Brazilian. How did I find this fantasy foot Gabriel Martinelli? I liked it a lot. It was a fun card to use, and it was fun because... One, he feels rapid, and two, his dribbling feels really, really fluid. And if you're good on the ball, I do think you're going to get a lot out of this card. And obviously, the four-star skill move boost will also benefit you quite some bit too. But seriously, off the mark, like 0-60, like that. That's one of the best things about this card for me. You saw it in the footage. He was just, you know, jogging along with the ball, and then boom, into his sprint, beat a man, because he was that quick, you know, to react in those kind of situations. So that was obviously really, really good. So pace, massive thumbs up. Definitely has breakaway pace, and dribbling for the most part feels really really smooth as well so that is obviously great when it comes to shooting inside the box was pleasantly surprised really really nice for the most part from outside the box gotta say for the most part he was hitting the baron post a lot which was a bit unfortunate but he did score a really nice long shot at the end as we saw so yes he is capable of scoring them you know really nice long shots but he's just not as consistent as others at hitting the target but obviously it's a live item those stats could get better and hopefully will and positionally fantastic for me i liked his run making a lot got into some good areas and was definitely a threat in no matter what position i used him in whether it was a left mid a left forward striker or a cam he was regularly getting on to the end of through balls which is obviously great to hear now passing this is it's one of them scenarios where it's pretty much what you see is what you get. His crossing was really, really nice, actually. I like that a lot, whether it be left foot or right foot. Short passing and link-up play was very, very nice, but the through balls, as expected, over a long distance, were a bit hit and miss. He's definitely capable of putting through a good through ball, but is he going to do it consistently? Probably not, so that is obviously bit of a shame but uh passing for the most part especially in the crossing department is very very good and then finally we come on to the physicals which to be honest was one of the better areas of this card um in regards to just his strength and his fight for the ball like he's one of them players who's regularly just going to get knocked off the ball and lose it but then he's going to win it straight back he's going to fight for the badge he's going to fight for the ball and he's going to win your possession which is great so yeah like the physicals a lot especially for a winger so, all in all, I've got to say, really, really good wing item. There's definitely some things that could be improved, like I've already highlighted the long shots and stuff like that. Um, do wish his composure was a little bit better. But in time, this card is obviously fairly likely to get the upgrades and hopefully does. As an Arsenal fan, I'm obviously hoping it does. Um, when it, when or slash if it gets some boost, I do think it could become like a very, very good wing item. Now, in regards to his price, do I think this item is worth 800k as things stand? As things stand, no. But obviously, because it's a live item with the chance of upgrades, he's never going to be cheap. But um, I do think with the right boosts applied, which could come, I do think he could be worth that price mark. But like I've said, the card as it is, probably not just with you know how the market is in comparison to other premier league wing items and um, who am i using him over to be honest as an arsenal fan probably all of them but that's just because i'm an arsenal fan in regards to value for money like i've already touched on he isn't quite there in terms of value for money you'd be better off with this son or this this mane but in terms of like in-game ability I, I do rate him like right up there at the top Got to be honest, I have not used this Rashford yet, so I can't compare him to him. But over all these others, I probably am using Gabby over him, especially now he's got that 4-star, four 4-star four boost and how brilliant he does feel on the ball. Just want to quickly point out, when I was talking about value for money, I forgot about this Diaz card. That item is fantastic, so he's also worth considering. So, yeah, plenty of options now, obviously, for left-sided uh, players in the Premier League. But like I've already highlighted, um, overall verdict on this card is it is very very good but just not worth that price tag but if it gets the right boosts which hopefully it does um, I do think it could become a fantastic wing item so let's all let's all get together and let's all hope that Gabriel Martinelli gets all three boosts on his card guys that is my review of the fantasy foot item I'm hoping I can pack it untradeable this week that'd be pretty cool and um, I appreciate you guys watching let me know in the comments who else I should review thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one